Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a -a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high-impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. On Tuesday, April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Docky, back in August I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham, class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause. For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences 
that will define the years ahead. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. One word I was going to use to describe the communication arts program at Adrian College, it would be unique. Students find themselves on the radio, in front of and behind the camera, and directing their own programs. Students learn in a personalized environment that sets them up for a world of opportunities. Are you ready for your moment in the limelight? Learn more about the Rush Communications Center and Adrian College's communications program by visiting adrian.edu today. You didn't have didn't. to do it on. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. It's a Welcome inside the Marilat Sport and Fitness Center. I'm Brett Carlisle, and we have a full 40 minutes, two halves between the Crosstown rivals, Siena Heights Saints, and the Adrian College Bulldogs as we're just continuing and getting ready for the matchup between the Saints and Bulldogs. The starting lineups are being announced. And we will announce the starting lineups here on Adrian College. We have number one, Victor Sheffy, guard junior, finally getting in the mix after a long await for the junior himself to be out on the court with these Bulldogs. Number two, Diavion Price will join him in the front court. Nick Seifert, Jesse Lawson Jr., and Josh Jordan will control the backcourt for the Bulldogs. Jonas Tester, 
Devin Walker, Colin Nutter, Curtis Bell the third, and Landon Lynx will be the starters for the Siena Heights Saints. And then we've got an enticing matchup between these two teams, the rivalry going back a long time between these two programs. And we have the Bulldogs. Not this. As Saints control the tip off, and we are underway inside the Maryland Sports and Fitness Center. And a good block by number 11, Jesse Lawson Jr. for the Bulldogs. Victor Sheffy controls, looking to make something happen. A three by Diavion Price, good bull movement for the Bulldogs and rebound Saints. The Saints, as they take a shot, Victor Sheffy coming down court. As I've not mentioned, Brett Carlisle and Bailey Merzik alongside me in the second game as well. Joining me, the special guest, the graduate, as shot won't go down for Josh Jordan. Sienna Heights now going to take a top of the key three off the mark. We are scoreless still with about almost two minutes into this game. Driving inside, that's Nick Seifert. He scores a pair. Victor Sheffy, a good add for this team. Price almost steals it away. And on the floor is a saint for Sienna Heights and it's his ankle, I believe. Yeah, that looks like it might have been bad. That could have been a foul too, I think, too on Adrian. As we will get attention to him. And we're gonna take a break here on ACTV. We'll be right back after this short message. Marion College has dozens of athletics programs and winning is a staple on our campus. We have the culture of winning in and out of the classroom. This is a place where young men and women grow into professionals for life. Are you interested in learning more about the Bulldog experience? Visit adrianbulldogs.com and the Recruit Me tab to be recruited to play your sport of choice today. Back inside the Maryland Sport and Fitness Center, Brett Carlisle, Bailey Merzik alongside me. A quick timeout on the floor for Colin Nutter as he went to the floor. The freshman out of Tiffin, Ohio. Sienna Heights controls the ball. 10 seconds on the shot clock. And a step out of bounds for number 25, Curtis Bell, the third, as he was looking for a corner three. A little too far to the edge. Victor Sheffy, a long story for him as he's been putting in work in the gym every day. Jesse Lawson Jr. a three off the mark. And steals it away. Davion Price back down court. And lays it home for the good, Bulldogs. Good They're up start four. here for Adrian. Sheffy, good defense. Two point shot. And Sheffy with good boxing out ability. That was a shot off for Jeremiah Jolifi. Victor Sheffy, a deep three off the mark. That's gonna go right out of bounds. Yeah, not sure why no one stepped up on Victor Sheffy, but he could have even probably taken a dribble and taken that three pointer. Sheffy now guarding closely on Davin Walker. Ball taken away by Diavion Price as number 25 Curtis Bell tried to go up for the layup. 
And Seifert tried to pass it out to Sheffy. Ball stolen away, but an offensive foul first by Seifert. It's a charge. We go in the other way. Here comes the Saints. Price. Three point shot is, I believe, tipped by Victor Sheffy and saved by Price. Cypher pushing up court now. Sheffy looking to push inside, passes over to Price. Cypher to three. Rolls just right off the rim. Rebound up and one. Josh Jordan. Good offensive board there. That's going to be key for the Bulldogs is looking to get their own rebound and putting it back up. And a great job there getting to the line too. And Bulldogs off to a great start so far. A 6-0 lead off of Diavion Price basket. Josh Jordan now getting in the mix. He bricks the free throw as will remain 6-0 with 16 minutes just about left in this set first half. Santa Heights looking to get something going here on offense. Pass inside, Curtis Bell up in to Josh Jordan, and it's going to be tipped away. Five seconds left on the shot clock. And if anyone watched the game or didn't before, we had the women's game before this, and the Bulldogs, oh, got a three point there. That was number two, Lewis Young. As I was saying, the Adrian Bulldogs women's team lost to the Saints before this, so we'll see who ends up taking this game. Seifert on the wing, driving inside, getting it to go over Jeremiah Jalifi. Nick Seifert has four now. Sienna passing it around now. Trying to drive baseline. Good defense by Lawson. Good Not defense so far all around for the Bulldogs. They look like they're moving and trying to be in every spot on defense, and it's benefited them so far. And here comes number 13, Kendall Bellamy. And Kendall Chrisman as well for the Bulldogs. A long story for Kendall Bellamy. He tore his ACL and has been in rehab working really hard to get back on on the court. As you see, he's got that brace, and he steals the ball there, and there's going to be a foul. But Kendall Bellamy, a long, a long story coming back from an injury that could almost just ruin the career of basketball players forever. But he's back out on the court, playing the game he loves, doing a graduate year here at Adrian College, using his COVID year. And Adrian coming down with the rebound. Price takes it himself, and that's gonna be a block by Jalifi. Sheffy to inbound. Price. On the far side to Bellamy up top. Pick on the left. Gavion Price. Bellamy. Bellamy drives inside off the back rim. It's rebounded by Sheffy.
Right there, Sheffy out to Chrisman, who gets a little space. Rebound, Sienna Heights. There's gonna be a blocking foul on Kendall Bellamy as a drive inside. Will put Curtis Bell the third to the line. Bulldogs up eight to three. Yeah, I think that call could have probably gone either way, but maybe his feet were just quite not set. First free throw drops for Bell. Here comes James Clay, number zero, the sophomore out of Detroit, Michigan. And then the roster says he doesn't have a height, so <laughs> maybe he just broke the scale when he went on to it. Let's say he comes in about at 5'9", five, 5'10". Clay now on the left wing, back to Bellamy. Bellamy to Seifert. Seifert is gonna drive inside and he's gonna lose the ball and it's gonna go off his leg. A nice banner they put up here in the Marillat, uh, Adrian College 2019-2020 Men's Basketball MIAA Tournament Champions. Yeah, in addition to that, I noticed a couple more over there in the corner. Um, as Brett mentioned, I'm an alumni, so coming back here, seeing some different cool stuff is pretty sweet. Ball's going to go off of Siena after a miss by number two, Lewis Young from the corner. And number three, Michael Reitenauer will check in for the Bulldogs. Sheffy, a nice pass, tried to find something inside but couldn't quite get in. James Clay now, will get up in there in his own. He's gonna get swatted around. Chrisman a three, off the mark, air ball. Way off for Kendall Chrisman, who's usually a lethal three-point shooter. Sienna now, only down three. After a little bit of a rough start, looking to create some more offense. Possibly tie the game or just be down by one. And a foul by Victor Sheffy. Adrian, coach is looking a little bit in disagreement with that call. I'm gonna get a quick timeout here from the Siena coach. We'll stay right here though. Adrian College TV is it's just a 30 second timeout. The men's team coming in with Diavion Price leading the way with 18 points a game with Victor Sheffy behind him averaging 12. We got four Bulldogs in double figures, Nick Seifer and Kendall Chrisman as well. Jesse Lawson Jr. contributing six points a game and that's the top five on the list for Adrian College. They come in one and two on the, on the year having losses, sorry, one and three on the year as they have losses to Lords, Anderson and Defiance College. I think Lords was just an exhibition match though, so that doesn't quite count. And their only win is against a, is a buzzer beater against Manchester. So Manchester a victim to two buzzer beaters by both Adrian <laughs> College teams this year. So you like to think they're gonna have a little sour taste in their mouth next year. Shot clock having some issues here. And on the other side of things, Sienna Heights has a pretty balanced scoring effort. Curtis Bell averaging 18 points a game. Uh, David Walker averaging 13. And then we have a couple others that are also in the 14, 10, 9, 8 range. So uh, some great even scoring for Sienna Heights. Kendall Bellamy with the big block. The second effort though for 23, Colin Nutter, who's back in after a twisted ankle, but it won't go. A bad pass by Diavion Price. That's gonna be an easy lay-in for Louise, but he can't make it. Rebound, Adrian Price pushing, passes to Chrisman. Bellamy a three, off the mark.
as Josh Jordan looks like he's going to be checking back in pretty quickly for the Bulldogs. Chrisman, a good tip off the pass. Kendall Bellamy will take a seat. Checking in for Sienna Heights, 33, Landon Lynx, and four, Jonas Tester. Michael right now are on Tester. Jordan denying the entry pass. A tip away by Reitenauer, and he gets the steal, passes to Clay, and he's pushing up. Chrisman, Yavion Price. Diavi on Price on the left wing now. Chrisman going up with it, loses it. Another turnover for the Bulldogs. And a met at the rim by James Clay, and it's going to be a foul on him. That'll send Jonas Tester to the line for a couple. 11 minutes to go in this first half. They give and Jonas Tester, about a 50% free throw shooter. And knocks down his first one. Sienna Heights coming in one and four this year. As Tester's first free throw goes in, his second is also going to drop. And a timeout by Sienna Heights, that'll be a full. That means we're gonna take a break here on Adrian College TV. Eight to seven, our score, don't go anywhere. If there was one word I was going to use to describe the communication arts program at Adrian College, it would be unique. Students find themselves on the radio, in front of and behind the camera, and directing their own programs. Students learn in a personalized environment that sets them up for world of opportunities. Are you ready for your moment in the limelight? To learn more about the Rush Communications Center and Adrian College's communications program by visiting adrian.edu today. Welcome back inside the Marilat Sports and Fitness Center. Brett Carlisle, Bailey Merzik, thank you for joining us on ACTV. Got a full timeout here for Sienna Heights as they are just down one after a couple of free throws were hit by Jonas Tester. Bailey, what do we gotta see from both sides of the ball is for Adrian as they've been turning it over in offense, but their defense has allowed Sienna to score points and come back from what well, they had an 8-2 lead. Yeah, just getting some better looks and uh, taking your time and make sure you're getting the best shot you can get and you know, utilizing all 30 seconds of that shot clock been heavily defensive so far. Yeah, very low scoring first half affair. As usually by now we have teams hitting about the, the high teens with points. In a standard basketball game as James Clay now brings it up court for the Bulldogs. Price entry pass to Jordan. Jordan dribbling around, making post move short. Sienna rebounds. Bell inside lays it home. Price to Clay. Clay, little, nice little teardrop to give the lead back to Adrian. It's gonna be a back and forth scoring affair, I have a feeling as Rex Steiner and Sheffy are at the check-in table. Here comes Curtis Bell, another lay-in. He finds room. 
Back looks and like, forth. Looks like, yeah, both teams are starting to get the scoring going now. Off a timeout, back and forth these two go. A three, right now are way off the mark. Thought it was gonna go in, but it's on the other side of the, the basket. Rebound Bell inside. A mid-range jumper for the center of Colin Nutter, but it won't go. Rebound Bulldogs. Nice entry pass, Jordan from Price. Binoculars for Diavion Price as he finds Josh Jordan. Nutter passes out to the corner. Curtis Bell, top of the key, makes a nice move. Passes outside, a baseline. Fine, and he tries to pass it outside and it works. Shot clock violation for the Saints. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Yeah, that's good for them. If they can if they can keep that up, that's gonna be the key to winning this game because obviously it's been so back and forth so far. So if they can uh, force a couple of those and get a few good defensive stops, I think they're gonna be in a good spot. Victor Sheffy and Rex Steiner checking in for the Bulldogs. Price at three, nice move, but it's gonna be bricked off the right side of the backboard. Here comes Curtis Bell, who's got a wide open lane. He draws a foul on Jordan. I actually believe it's gonna go on Josh Recksteiner. Yes, it is. Picks up his first. And it's gonna be a timeout called by the Bulldogs, the 32nd. We'll take a short break here on ACTV. Don't go anywhere, 12-11 our score. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Welcome back inside the Marilat Sports and Fitness Center. Brett Carlisle, Bailey Merzik, thank you for joining us. We have a 12-11 lead for the Bulldogs as of right this minute. But Curtis Bell going to the free throw stripe to hit Attempt a couple of free throws after a Josh Recksteiner foul. Bell averaging 18 points a game. Sienna's highest, highest score. He's 80% from the free throw line, so pretty accurate. Curtis Bell, very gifted player. Averages 19 points in conference play as of last year. Here comes Victor Sheffy now. Over to Cypher, to Jordan, back to Price. Price drives inside, a nice little lay-in for Diavion Price. Curtis Bell trying to find room, makes room for the shooter of David Walker. Who is 36% free throw shoot, three point shooter on the year? That'll be his ninth three. Nine for 23. Price looking to make something happen. A long mid range, and he's going to get a foul called. That's going to be on Curtis Bell, the third. And that's going to be his first. Curtis Bell leaving, leading all scorers with eight points as of right now. Adrian's got a plethora of people with four points. Price, Seifert, and Jordan. Price drops his first. So crucial for 
like I was saying in the women's game, for teams to knock down these free throws, you can, it's free points. You gotta take them while you can get them as it's hard to score while game time is in play as Price knocks down both. And we have a 16 all game right now. Passing around is the Saints. Getting some ball movement. Curtis Bell trying to make some room. Seeing if he can get a three off. Walked. David Walker a three off the front iron. Didn't quite have his feet set. Rex Steiner diving to the floor. And it's going to just go out of bounds just before a shot clock violation was called. Yeah, that was good hustle there by Rex Steiner. That's the, the things that you like to see if you're a coach. And um, that was that was great. Diving on the floor for his ball is always good, and it's going to help Adrian win the game. And a little bit of discussion between the referees. David Walker didn't really like what's going on with the shot clock. As it'll be a fresh 30 seconds for the Saints. As I don't believe anybody had possession of the ball, so therefore the shot clock just resets all together. Bryce diving on the, I'm sorry, that's Victor Chevy diving on the floor after the ball. We're gonna need to get Adrian some knee pads. They're really diving <laughs> right now. Diving everywhere on the Good floor. Hustle. Number two, that's Louise Young. Takes a three and it's gonna be a foul on Victor Sheffy. That's going to be his second. And that'll be a one and one affair. As Lawson comes in for Sheffy, he was going to, he's going to take a seat with two fouls. Nutter's first free throw doesn't go and. That'll be rebounded to Avion Price. Bellamy to Lawson. No, Bellamy's going to take it himself inside. Kendall Bellamy, foul. Late call on Colin Nutter. Free throw for Bellamy drops in after a nice roll off the back iron. As you said, Brett, every every point counts, especially in this game. These two teams are pretty well evenly matched. So and we have Sienna Heights in the bonus. So look to them to take advantage of that here in the first half. That's going to be a jump ball, and that's going to go Adrian's way. As Rex Steiner is in now. Davion Price, clear lane off the back iron and he's limping just a little bit. Bellamy guarding closely on Nutter. Young passes over to Walker, down to Nutter. Nutter trying to back down Bellamy, gets a shot off and it goes off the back iron. Good defense by Kendall Bellamy. Davion Price hobbling just a little bit. Here's Lawson. He's gonna take a mid-range jumper and knocks it down. Jesse Lawson. Bulldogs up four.
Entry pass to Nutter, passes back out to Young at the top of the key. Good defense by Rex Steiner. But somehow Louise Young floats up in the paint and lets it go. Yeah, he had about three hands up there. That was an excellent shot. Rex Steiner thought about a three. Price is gonna take one in the corner. In and out, rolls around and touched every part of the rim. And that's gonna be a moving screen by Nutter. Clear call for the, the referee. And that'll bring in James Clay for Diavion Price and he's gonna go over to the AT table and probably get that ankle taped up. As we are nearing the end of this first half with almost about 4.30 left to play, Bellamy to James Clay. Clay is gonna take a nice floater and a rebound, second effort, Jesse Lawson, Jr. A steal by Jesse Lawson. And he misses the dunk. Ball falls out of his hands. I'm not quite sure if that ball just slipped out of his hands or if he was trying to go up for a dunk and it yeah, slipped looked, out. It looked like he was between a dunk and a layup. I don't think he had his mind made up. Louise Young touched about every part of the rim, but he doesn't go get his rebound as it was tapped back out to him. Here comes Nick Seifert, and a nice effort coast to coast for Seifert, time out, Sienna Heights. He's gonna take a full time out. We'll take a time out here, 24-18 Bulldogs with a head of steam, don't go anywhere. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. Welcome back inside the Marillat Sport and Fitness Center as we have a very back and forth game. 24 to 18, Bulldogs have finally found some breathing room. And this is very much how it started with the women's game. We had very much back and forth scoring, uh, kind of a low scoring affair, but then Sienna Heights started to pull away in the second half. So we'll see what happens here as we get ready to close out the first half. We have Bulldogs 24, Siena Heights 18, and Siena Heights is in the bonus, so that's been a little bit of an issue. Fouls have been for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Victor Sheffy on the bench with two fouls. That is not what you want from your junior guard that's been quite, quite beneficial for the Bulldogs, scoring 20 last game against Defiance. Curtis Bell inside to Nutter. Good defense by Kendall Bellamy as he rejects the shot by Nutter. James Clay wide open on the corner, but he's gonna drive inside. Reverse layup, but it won't go. It's gonna be off of Siena Heights. Adrian College ball. Kendall Bellamy inside, try to dunk it, and he's gonna get fouled. He really wanted that one to go in. That was, that was a good shot, really close. But he will get to go to the line here. It's Kendall Bellamy. I believe a little bit of part of his knee brace popped out and when he went down over there hard on the floor. So he's gonna get a couple shots from the stripe. Got 
Drops the first one. Kendall Bellamy, the second free throw. Curtis Bell. Passes over to Young. Young now, top of the key, driving inside on James Clay. Pushing on the out of bounds line was ben Bellamy. He's there meeting Curtis Bell. Pass out, loses the ball. Rex Steiner is gonna go in the hands of Adrian College and a way off three by David Walker and the crowd is gonna let him hear that. Two thirty-three to go for Adrian College. James Clay found an open lane, goes up. Getting to the basket hasn't been a problem for the Bulldogs tonight, but uh, finishing at the basket has been. That's been kind of their downfall. And I think they would be up by a little bit more if they um, they ha had a couple more layups made. Yeah, and James Clay would not contribute that, getting that layup to go in. Walker, a shot by number 22, Jeremiah Jalifi, and it won't go, rebound Bulldogs. Seifert pushing inside, he's converting though. 28-18, Nick Seifert. Pass outside, it won't go, but Kelly couldn't come up with the steal. Bellamy, good defense, and one foul for David Walker. Exciting back and forth action as Walker will go to the line for one more. And foul on Kendall Bellamy. Here comes Josh Jordan. And he converts it. That's a seven point game now for the Bulldogs. Entry pass to Jordan, looking for a back door. He's trying to back down his defender, he does! He has a little taunt in the process. Nine point game. David Walker was not paying attention. A three point shot and it drops in for Landon Lynx. Fifty-five seconds, fifty seconds, I'm sorry. Jordan over to Rex Steiner, a three, drops it! Textbook. Yeah, that was a good answer there by the Bulldogs. A three by Young, off the mark, rebound Rex Steiner. Rex Steiner to Clay. They're gonna get the last shot here as it's a one second difference between shot and game clock. Adrian running a play now, 10 seconds to go. Entry pass to Jordan. Jordan looking for Rex Steiner again if he was wide open. And that's gonna be a travel by Jordan. He just had to look a little bit to his left and Nick Seifert was there wide open on the wing for a three. And we'll see what Sienna Heights can come up with here. One second, a chuck down court by Young and that's gonna go way over the backboard. Adrian College. A fiery first half as they were struggling at the beginning to get stuff going. Both teams were. And finally, Adrian pulling a little bit away, a nine point lead. And that brings us to 33 24. 
Yeah, that was a good first half by both teams. Um, a little bit of a slow start for Adrian, but they did come on strong at the end. So I think we are in for a treat for the second half. 33-24 uh, Bulldogs on top. And that'll do it for the first half, but don't go anywhere. An exciting second half coming your way here on ACTV. I'm Brett Carlisle, ba Bailey Merzik alongside me. Don't go anywhere. 15-minute break. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself.
as you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define your college years. You stand today, students, on the threshold of one of the most magical times in your life. April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Docky, back in August I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham, class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause.
For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define the years ahead. Welcome back inside the Marilat Sports and Fitness Center. I hope you guys enjoyed your break because we got a very eventful second half for you here inside the basketball venue for, of the Bulldogs. I'm Brett Carlisle. Alongside me is Bailey Merzik. And Bailey, can we get a little bit of a breakdown of... A Bailey's breakdown, a if you will. A Bailey's breakdown of the first <laughs> half from both of these teams. Um, yeah, it was it was a good, uh, entertaining first half. I think we're going to see a good second half too. But uh, Adrian has is up, and they've done a good job of getting to the basket. I think um, need to do a little bit of a better job of finishing their baskets, but um, they've done good this far in the game, and we'll see who comes out on top here. Well, and. A full 20 minutes, and we will decide the winner of this game as Adrian is up nine, and we're underway now inside the Marilat. As Sienna Heights is controlling the ball. Stolen by Victor Sheffy, and it's going to go that way. Good effort by the junior. We'll tip it off of Curtis Bell's leg. Victor Sheffy sat most of the rest of the first half after about seven minutes with two fouls. So we'll see what he can contribute here. As here comes Jordan Sheffy flying in. Jordan rebounds. A fresh 20. Cyphered a little careless with that pass as he tried to get it to Jordan, but couldn't quite make it happen. Walker, and he's gonna fall inside and Curtis Bell will be going to the stripe. As he couldn't quite convert the layup along with a free throw. Bailey, a little bit of history about both of these teams. Yeah, we have um, Sienna Heights leading the, the all-time series between 
Sienna Heights and Adrian. Uh, Adrian has eight wins and and 29 losses against Sienna Heights, and they are currently on a one game losing streak against them. Um, they've gone two games as their longest winning streak, and they are six and 11 at home and two and 18 away against Sienna Heights. So Sienna Heights very favored inside their home venue uh, when they play the Bulldogs as Price gets it stripped away from. In the uh, last 10 matchups between this team has been uh, five and five, so it's been, it's been split down the middle. Josh Jordan with the board to Victor Sheffy, and he gets it tipped from behind. Ball back the other way, back and forth, these two teams go. The Crosstown rivals. And getting it to go is Davian Walker, or Davin Walker, I'm sorry. Sheffy thought about a pull up three, but didn't put the trigger on. Cypher at a corner three, and it's really short. An air ball for Nick Cypher. 33-28, Sienna Heights business in this first two minutes of the second half. Walker trying to get inside, stolen. And a great effort, but it's gonna go out of bounds. As Jesse Lawson came up with the steal and Walker tried to take it right back. Victor Sheffy trying to get something going. Takes the lay-in. Nice job there by Victor Sheffy. Very heavily guarded. That was a, a good finish. A tough shot, and it goes for Victor Sheffy. He's uh, finally on the board. Bell finds. And that's going to go right between the defenders, and that's going to stay at this end. And it's going to go the other way as referees converse. Victor Sheffy now. Navion Price. Down to Jordan. Jordan passes out to Cypher. An extra pass. Jesse lost in the three. He buries it from deep. Jesse Lawson Jr. Ball stripped from Curtis. Oh, Cypher couldn't quite keep it off of his hands as he goes out of bounds, trying to throw it off Curtis Bell the third. A three-pointer up short for Sienna Heights. Ball's gonna go the other way as Young gets it tapped off. Kendall Bellamy coming in for Josh Jordan. We saw Bellamy come out with about six or so minutes left in the first half. Um, I would assume Coach Kaiser was saving him for the second half. I think he had a couple fouls there in the first. And Kendall Bellamy with a couple and Victor Sheffy with two as well. Everybody on the foul board for Adrian Price with a nice layup, but couldn't quite convert. Tried to do a, two, a little too much there. Curtis Bell, Bellamy. And a foul, no shot. It's gonna be on Diavion Price. And actually it's gonna be on Kendall Bellamy. Bellamy with four points. Lawson with seven. Cypher with eight. Price with six and Sheffy with two. And that is your players out on the court right now. And shot clock having some issues once again.
It's about still getting some word with the referees with the shot clock. It seems like they've had some issues with the shot clock. It's And it was in the girls' game as well. As I don't think the people at the table are quite sure about the reset, resetting it at 20 seconds. As it usually so, it used to be reset to 30 seconds. Curtis Bell gets some space, a three. It's short, Price rebound. Kendall Bellamy is going to drive inside. Lonnie, Jesse Lawson, I'm sorry. Kendall Bellamy with smart IQ throws it off of Colin Nutter. And a substitution coming in for Sienna Heights. That'll be number 12, TJ Hallett. Victor Sheffy, a mid-range, oh, just off the mark. That was a beautiful shot. Walker almost got his pocket picked by Diavion Price. Nice rejection by Victor Sheffy coming over to help. And a foul committed by Jonas Tester. That was good there by Sheffy. He kind of saved his teammate Bellamy. I think that if Sienna Heights would have went up with the ball, could have risked getting a foul. So uh, Victor Sheffy did a good job of knocking that ball away. Victor Sheffy's IQ of basketball is so, so, so important for this Adrian team. Price finds a little opening, gets a little hip check, but no foul, and he's off the mark. Rebound Sienna. Young wide open, driving on Sheffy. Walker trying to create space, drives inside. Young, an extra pass. That's a three by TJ Hallett. That was a good defensive possession for Adrian, but it didn't end obviously the way they wanted it to. They were flying all around and uh, resulted in a Santa Heights three. Yeah, it was good ball movement by the Saints. And that's going to be a travel on Jesse Lawson Jr. As Curtis Bell is going to check in for David Walker. Lawson clamping down. Curtis Bell trying to make something work. Passes across. Driving is Young on Sheffy in a blocking foul. And that'll be Victor's third. As it'll be a two shots yep, for and Louise we're, Young. We're gonna see a Victor Sheffy sub. Probably right here. Bailey being in back on ACTV, what have you seen improvements on with Jay Hanna not leaving and Megan Abbey taking over? What have you seen here on ACTV and what do you like so far about it? Um, well, I was lucky to all four years when I was here. Uh, ACTV was great and honestly it just kept getting better and it still is. Jay Hanna did a great job for uh, with some of the things he did with, you know, new equipment and streaming even more sports than we ever have before. And Megan Abbey is also doing an amazing job of carrying on what uh, Jay Hanna built. And I can anticipate that it's going to be a very busy winter and especially spring now that um, I, think, I think Jay Hanna tried to stream like tennis and golf and stuff last year. So very interesting. Hopefully we see some of that this year. But, yeah, a lot of changes, and I think that ACTV is headed in a very good direction. Bellamy, James Clay. Out to Cypher, who's wide open on the corner, and it's our ball. Chrisman's second effort rebound, and he puts it in. <laughs> 
Sienna passing it around now. Good ball movement. Nutter on Bellamy. And he finally gets one to go on Kendall Bellamy. Price to Clay. Bellamy. Oh, can't get it to go. Rebound, Sienna. They're pushing hard. Down low, mismatch. Chrisman, nice job denying the entry to Nutter. And it's going to go. And Nutter can't get it to go. Second effort, rebound, and he puts it up and in. And they got that mismatch that they wanted down low with Colin Nutter. Timeout, Tim Kaiser and company. It's going to be a full timeout. 40-35, 12-24 to go. We're going to take a break here on ACTV. Don't go anywhere. Second half action. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Welcome back inside the Marilot Sports and Fitness Center. 40 to 37, our score. Sienna Heights coming back in this one. And it's been a back and forth affair. Yeah, it's been, it's been a very good second half. Um, Sienna Heights climbing their way back into this game uh, with a couple Adrian College mistakes they've, they've capitalized on. So got about 12 minutes left here in the second. Davion Price now dribbling around top of the key. James Clay. Victor Sheffy on the bench with three fouls. Clay with a nice lay in, finds a little bit of room in the lane. Adrian distributing the ball very well as a lot of players, I don't, I don't believe a player is in double digits yet. Actually, Jesse Lawson, I believe, is the only player in double digits for the Bulldogs. Here's Young. Five seconds to go on the shot clock. Bell, a pop-up jumper. Seifert rebound. Kendall Chrisman pushing. Ball stolen away. Bell saves it. Clay there with the ball. Clay with a high step and through. And he converts. Seven point lead. Young, a corner three off the mark. Chrisman rebound. Bulldog slowing it down. Clay to Jordan. Jordan making space. Count that one. And the foul. Bulldogs really coming alive here now, doing some great things and starting to distance themselves from Siena Heights. As Josh Rexsteiner will check in for the Bulldogs for Nick Seifert. And Jonas Tester. And Colin Nutter will come back in for Siena Heights as Walker and Jeremiah Jalifi will take a seat. Yeah. 
as Jordan converts his free throw. It's a 10 point affair for the Bulldogs. They led as many as 11 tonight. Nutter driving, denied. Baseline jumper, it's high. And that's gonna be a foul. on Josh Jordan. That'll be his first foul. Three point shot and it's buried by TJ Hallett, that's his second. Price. Inside, Chrisman, what a great luck. find! Rex Steiner to Chrisman. That was a beautiful find by Rex Steiner. Santa Heights. Ball tipped. Bell almost dished it inside. Can't find anything, extra pass. There's Hallett again, he's off the mark as he was wide open. It's staying here though as there's a foul. That'll be on Josh Jordan. That'll be his second. He's picked up a couple now in the past couple minutes. Sienna Heights doing a very good job of finding open shots. Uh, they haven't, I'm not sure what their three point percentage is, but uh, haven't been lucky from three point. At yeah, the half, Adrian was 40% from the field. They shot one for 11 from three land, but 27% for Siena. That's definitely gone up a little bit. Victor Sheffy says, give me that ball. Clay, extra pass, Chrisman lays it home. Bulldogs up 11. Clay, guarding closely Sheffy, guarding closely on Walker. Denying anything for the Saints. Entry pass, denied, stolen by Sheffy, push up court, it's Clay, lays it in! Timeout, Sienna Heights, that's a full timeout. 53-40, 8.39 to go. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. back inside the Maryland Sports and Fitness Center. As Adrian on an incredible run. They are leading as many as 13 now. James Clay, Victor Sheffy's got a couple of steals, a block. And contributing at the other end as James Clay laid it home and also an extra pass to Kendall Crispin and that's where we are right now. Yeah, James Clay averages about five points a game, but he is having himself a game today. Um, you could tell where his family is in the stands because he has got a good support section here tonight, it, it appears. Yeah, and James Clay coming in off the bench, helping out foul trouble, and he is definitely holding his own as the Bulldogs. Hold, we'll see if the Saints come out of their timeout with an answer for this Adrian College run. The 
Bell driving inside, lays it home. That was quite the answer. They needed that one from Curtis Bell the third, their leading scorer. He's got 12. Chrisman out to Clay, a three off the mark. Sienna passing it around now. Walker making moves inside, gets fouled by Rex Steiner. Yeah, as much as Adrian has been starting to pull away, Sienna Heights has not let them pull away a whole lot here. So I think it's going to be a great, great finish here in the mayor lot. Walker's first free throw drops in. As Cypher and Price will check in for Chrisman and James Clay. A notable add, Jake Krizniak is the another assistant coach for the Bulldogs. As he did join us last year on a live stream uh, for the Bulldogs. And uh, Jake now a part of the staff along with Tim Kaiser and Peter Smith. Yeah, Jake is great. He he did really good here when he when he helped us on a stream last year and it's always fun having guests, right? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> like me. It's it's good to be back. A three by David Walker and a foul by Diavion Price, and that's gonna send Walker to the stripe for three more. Is that coming out of that timeout, it's working for Sienna. Sienna Heights really taking advantage of the Adrian Fouls here in the bonus with seven Adrian Fouls here in the second. Yeah, a little early for the bonus as it's 7.23 left in the second half. As Walker, an excellent free throw shooter. He is 70% this year, but has knocked down mostly all his free throws tonight. I don't think he's missed one. He's got 13 now. A couple of Saints in double figures. As Adrian has been passing the ball around all night and a lot of people have scored. Price. Price backing down. Takes a jumper and won't go. Sienna Heights back in business, six point deficit. And a foul on Rex Steiner. And the, these trips to the free throw line is, for Sienna has really been hurting the Bulldogs. And like we just mentioned, just they're, they're climbing their way back into this game by their free throws. Yeah, and Curtis Bell to the line converts the first as it was a one and one after that Rex Steiner foul. This is his second though. Cypher rebound, Sheffy pushing up quickly. Rex Steiner passes up a three. Entry pass to Jordan. Jordan gets it slapped at, and he's gonna try and tip it to a player, but it falls in the hands of Sienna. Five point game. Young dribbling up top, Price on him. Curtis Bell a three, knocks it in. It's a two point game. Victor Sheffy and company looking for some answers. Price, Rex Steiner, outside to Cypher. Cypher driving, back to Rex Steiner, a three, it's off the mark. Rebound, Sheffy, no! Curtis Bell pushing quickly, finds an open player, rejected by Jordan. And it's gonna go 
the way of Adrian College. Timeout, AC. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay right here on AC TV. Bailey, <laughs> Sienna Heights, out of that timeout, it seems like they just, Adrian has not been able to get anything to go and it's been going Sienna's way ever since that timeout. Yeah, and as we said, the fouls just, just hurting the Bulldogs right now and uh, with, with eight and still five minutes left in the game. So that gives Sienna Heights a huge advantage uh, at the, the free throw line because they've been uh, putting it in. But yeah, with that, that Curtis Bell three, I think that they're definitely starting to work their way back into this game. And uh, we could see them take the lead here pretty soon against Adrian. And Victor Sheffy as the leading scorer last game has only got two points here tonight. Seems like he's been a little bit of afraid to get down, down low and try and push to get a foul maybe and trying to convert. Seems like he's just getting shut down in all angles as usually he's a driving. He's a good shooter, but he's also known for his driving as well. Seems yep, like the Bulldogs can't find answers. Yeah, we'll see if Sheffy is and his team is able to uh, come out on top here in the final minutes. Victor now driving, gets rejected and foul, the blocking foul. And Sheffy finally, like I said. And you were I, just talking about that. I was just <laughs> talking about that. He drives in, gets his foul. As it'll go on David Walker, I believe. Or it's actually gonna go on Curtis Bell. As Jesse Lawson, the th or Jesse Lawson Jr. will come in. Sheffy. And Sheffy, a 90% free throw shooter so far on the year. So I don't want to put the announcer's jinx on him, but he is good from the line. Yeah, and Victor needs to get to the line more often, honestly, and converts his second there. That's He makes him 11 for 12 on the year. Sienna Heights down four. And Price tips it away, 5.20 to go. Young to Bell. Bell looking to drive inside, he does. And he lays it home. Two point affair. Bellamy to Price, Price to Sheffy. Sheffy resets up top. Back to Price, back to Sheffy, thought about a three. Bellamy, Sheffy trying to create space inside to Bellamy, Bellamy up and in. Bulldogs answer back. Nutter out to Young, driving baseline. Bellamy, a blocking foul as he was inside the restriction circle. And that'll be nine for the Bulldogs, and that means double bonus coming next foul for the Saints, so two shots no matter what. And that's Kendall Bellamy's fourth as Jordan, Josh Jordan will be coming back in for him. Yeah, I'm not sure when we're gonna see Bellamy back in the game, but it's... Four fouls is, is tough if you're Adrian uh, with, so, with one of your key players. So we'll see when he makes his return is Tester, for the Bulldogs. Tester is now two for five this year from the line. 50% free throw shooter. So if anybody's going to the line, it should be him for the, as the Bulldogs are going to be fouling at the end of the game. Victor Sheffy now pushing up court, setting up a play. Trying to get a three from him, looks like. And he gets it stolen from. Walker contesting on Jordan and good defense by Adrian. Back out, Walker, hesitation, three. Doesn't knock it down. Lucky for Victor Sheffy. Lawson with the rebound. Seifert, Lawson. 
Austin's got seven on the night. Davion Price, a floater. Rebound Price. No travel call. Sheffy. And it goes off his foot. No, it's going to stay at Adrian's end. Adrian, good job there of grabbing their, their own offensive rebound and giving themselves another chance here to, to make something happen. Price. Cypher, a three. Sh way short. It's going to be air ball. Three-point affair for the Bulldogs, 57-54 with 3.19 to go. thought about it was David Walker and a tip out a floater doesn't drop Cypher rebounds Adrian getting away with another loss of possession for Sienna Lawson trying to do too much almost got it taken away Sheffy resets 10 seconds to go. Sheffy turns it over. Curtis Bell trying to get the lay in. It's gonna go off of Siena and back the other way. Adrian getting, getting lucky on defense. Siena Heights has had a couple opportunities with this, their steals, but couldn't capitalize. Javion Price gets almost taken away from him. It's gonna stay at this end. This is a very, I mean, cut the tension in here with a knife. It is a three point game with two minutes left. Crosstown rivals inside the Marillat. It is an intense game right now. And I think, I feel like that's always how it is. I remember last year's game was just as close and just as intense. And a mess with up, mess up with the ball and it's gonna go Sienna's way with two minutes left. And I believe we got a timeout, Sienna Heights. We'll stay at this, we'll stay here on ACTV. It's only a 30 second timeout. Bailey, what does Adrian have to do to get this offense going, stay in front and close out this game? I think this late down the stretch, it's important to take care of the ball and make sure that you're not making any errors that could be easily avoided like travels or you know throwing passes to the other team that are um, pretty, pretty difficult passes to make. So just taking care of the ball and making sure that you're getting good looks. Coming out of the timeout, a lot of Bulldogs just shy of double figures. Yeah, a lot of contributors for Adrian tonight and a, a fairly young team for the Bulldogs. They've, they have a few new players who have been uh, stepping up and playing well so far for the Bulldogs. And Sienna will now bring it up court as they only have three team fouls, so they have plenty of fouls to give if they need be. Looking to tie or be down by one. Bell passes back outside. Price strips it away, takes it. Lay in for Deavion Price, doesn't go. Rebound still on the loose, rebound Clay. Back up to Price. Ball on the floor and it ends up with Sienna. This game is back and forth, back and forth. With a minute and 19 to go. Bell drives, lays it home. A minute and 10 seconds now.
Price. Jordan, nice move! Reverse and one! Count that! And a foul! That was great for the Bulldogs down the stretch. Just what they needed. Timeout, Adrian College and a full one at that. 50 seconds to go, Bulldogs up three. We'll be right back after this. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. Welcome back inside the Marilat Sports and Fitness Center. Just coming out of the timeout in about 10 seconds. Bulldogs and one conversion of free throw coming up for Josh Jordan, who is now in double figures for the Bulldogs with 11. Bailey, he converts this. 50 seconds to go. Sienna, basically one possession left, and then they have to start following. Yep, and if you were watching or remember from last year, I think it was this close at the end of the game last year too. So always close with Crosstown Rivals. Yeah, we were at that game, I believe. It was at Sienna Heights. It was an intense game as well. Sienna just came out on top. As Jordan's going to bank in his free throw. The bank is open. Sheffy playing good defense. Bulldogs, Bell. Bellamy, good defense. It's gonna be a foul on Kendall Bellamy and that's gonna be his fifth. Nobody like that call at all and that's gonna yeah, be two free throws for Curtis Bell. Getting a lot of booze in here from the crowd. Nobody agreed with that one. Two free throws, seven seconds between shot and game clock. The question is, will Sienna foul if they convert both free throws? And he's Curtis Bell, ice in his veins, timeout. Sienna. We're going to take a full timeout. We'll take a break here on ACTV. 60-58, our score, 37 seconds left. Don't go anywhere. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged, experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. Welcome back inside the Marilat Sports and Fitness Center. Curtis Bell just converted two free throws. If you're just joining us, 60 to 58 our score. 37 seconds, seven seconds between shot and game clock. Sienna trying to get a steal. A timeout by Adrian. Good call there. It didn't look like they would have made it over half court. 
Sienna Heights was putting a good press yeah, on they Adrian. Were. That's going to be a short 30 second timeout, I believe. 30 seconds to go with 23 on the shot clock. And we'll stay right here on ACTV as Curtis Bell has 22 points tonight, leading all scorers, including his team. Number 21 on Siena Heights, David Walker has 13. So the lone two with double figures and Josh Jordan with the lone double figures, 12 points as he just converted an and one on a reverse lay-in to give the Bulldogs 60. Yeah, that shows him only being in double figures. It's been uh, um, not all one person. It's been pretty pretty balanced scoring effort from the Bulldogs. It is a very tense moment inside the Marilat when Siena Heights visits, or when we visit Siena Heights inside their field house. Always and, a great matchup. Yeah, as we talked about, only 10 minutes away, so not a far way to travel for students or fans of their team. So always a fun rivalry game. As Adrian College will inbound, a full court press for Siena Heights. 30 seconds to go. What will happen in the final 30? Price inbounds. Siena's gonna play defense. And here comes the double team on Price. And it's gonna be trying, almost stolen away. It's off Victor Sheffy and it's going the other way. A chance for Siena to tie it. Shot clock is turned off. No timeouts for Sienna. If you're Adrian here, got to watch for the foul. It's been a very foul heavy game for them, so. And they're going to get a timeout on the floor because of a little bit of moisture from bodies on the floor. As teams will huddle up. And 18 seconds to go. 60 to 58 with Siena Heights with a chance to either tie it, put in the overtime, take the lead, or Adrian's gonna win off a miss. And if you're Adrian, obviously you're thinking no three-point shots here or uh, keeping, keeping their hands up and no, no three-point plays. As we get a little bit of cleanup on the floor, probably a little bit of blood. I do see Curtis Bell got his arm taped up. Sienna Heights to inbound. It all comes down to this. Are they gonna look to tie it up and take it into overtime or are they going to go for the win, go for it all? the uh, something with Price's uniform I'm not sure yeah it looks like something with Price's uniform oh it looks like maybe he has blood on it they're trying to get it cleaned off and there's been wow this is just this is a wild ending to a crosstown rivalry I mean we have another little bit of huddling because Diaby on Price has a little bit of blood on his shorts and obviously you can't have that. Uh, it exposes diseases of any type uh, which could lead to harm something harmful for players so you got to get it cleaned up and Price a little bit frustrated with it. Yeah I mean as you can imagine it, it kind of ruins the tempo of the game that's been going on a couple, couple timeouts that I'm sure both teams weren't super happy about. And the Maryland is getting loud now. Between both teams. Last thing you want to do if you're Adrian is foul in any situation. Cypher with good defense, rebounds. They foul, five seconds to go. Nick Cypher, great defense. 
on Curtis Bell the third. They have fouls to give though. So they're gonna try and steal it away. Five seconds to go. Curtis Bell has four fouls. Sheffy gets escapes. Adrian College is going to take it and win by two points. A celebration under the basket. And what they get the a win. Game by Adrian College. That was very exciting. As we know, these two teams are always very evenly matched. And Adrian coming out just a little bit on top today. Even though they struggled a little bit with um, foul trouble there at the end, they, they didn't let it get to them. And they stayed, they stayed composed and they, they did a very good job there in the second half. What a finish we had inside the Marilat with whistles going everywhere. 18 seconds left. We had blood on the floor, shorts, and they had to stop game. The tempo was ruined a little bit. Curtis Bell tried to convert on the lay-in. Nick Cipher denies it, and they get the inbound. Sheffy passes down court, and that is how it is. And back in the hands of Adrian is the jug. Adrian College is victorious. 60 to 58 with Josh Jordan leading the team in scoring 12 points. Curtis Bell the third leading all scorers with 22. And as we know, always good to celebrate in front of your home crowd. Uh, it always means more. You have all your friends and family there, so. Very happy for the Bulldogs here. Yeah, and that'll just about do it inside the Marilai Sports and Fitness Center. We had a great crew today. Brett Carlisle, guest star Bailey Mersick here on the air for both games. Emma Corbett and Gia Avalone running the director and top cam for you tonight. But well, I'm Brett Carlisle saying so long as it is a Bulldog victory, 60 to 58 against Crosstown rivals Siena. Have a great night, and thank you for tuning in to ACTV. On Tuesday, April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office, and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Dockey, Back in August, I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham, class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause. Thank you.
For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define the years ahead.